Ever since 2005, Pittsburgh State has enhanced the game day atmosphere during the MIAA basketball tournament, which is housed inside the legendary Municipal Auditorium in downtown Kansas City. The Pitt State sports crew is responsible for everything that has to do with video. That means supplying both large HD video screens with non-stop content handling each and every referee instant replay, and on top of that, they're in charge of streaming each individual game online. For students, this is a great opportunity, I mean, to get real-world experience in a venue like this and to be able to put that on a resume. We're working the tournament. They're calling out. The MIAA is telling us what they want, what they don't want. They've got to react on the fly, and you can't get that in the classroom. This is something that only Pittsburgh State students can experience and it's great for them. It's pretty awesome. I think this is an, an experience that most people don't get to get uh, if they're you know, doing broadcast journalism somewhere else. To walk in and somebody ask you, hey, what are, why are you here? What are you, who are you working for? And to say, hey, I work for Pitt State. What you see on the video board is our stuff. It's a good step towards what I want to do and I mean, even coming in here not knowing what I wanted to do, it's nice being able to finally figure it out and just being here and being in the program, it's like a big family. It's been very beneficial. Like, I'm only 20 and I know that a lot of people don't get the experience to work a real tournament like this and I'm very grateful that I get this experience. This hands-on experience is what sets communication broadcasting students apart and their quality of work doesn't go unnoticed. If someone came to this tournament for the first time, they would be surprised to find out that we have students behind the scenes that are executing this. They would simply think this is the same kind of production we see at the Sprint Center or at Arrowhead Stadium or something of that nature. You know, some people would think we can't run a basketball tournament without the Pitt State crew uh, because it's become so customary now that we have video, we have replay, we have all these things. I can't say enough about the effort that they give us, the diligence, and the work they put in, and how they have helped enhance this experience for us. The program has recently upgraded their equipment in a big way. They're now completely HD compatible in their three-play system, which handles instant replays for up to eight different cameras at one given time, is one of the most advanced systems in the world, recently being featured and utilized during the 2014 Winter Olympics. Combined state-of-the-art equipment with a tradition of excellence, and that's where the Pitt State Broadcasting Program finds itself today. Pittsburgh State University has always been a hands-on program. It's something that um, even when I first started 15 years ago, we were we were taking SVHS cameras out, and it's great to you know grab the grab the equipment, be able to set it up. We go on the road, which is invaluable experience for these students to see what it's like to go to another environment and have to really you know, use some critical thinking in terms of where to set up cameras, uh, where to put the director, and how to do a production. Looking at my resume as an employer, you know, it's not just one area that I have strengths. I feel like this program has um, given me strengths in so many different areas that's gonna make me more marketable. I'm 22 years old, I've called a game at Arrowhead, this will be my, I've called two games at Arrowhead, this will be my second time calling a championship game at the most historic college basketball arena in the world. Well, I didn't even start out wanting to be in broadcasting. I wanted to be a chemistry major. And then I, for some reason, I was like, I'm gonna take sports broadcasting because it just sounds like fun. And then as soon as I took it, I think the next week I went and declared my major. It's been great to be doing Pitt State broadcasting. First semester we did football and now we're doing basketball and it's just a lot of hands-on stuff and it's been helping me a lot because that's like how I learned how to do things is hands-on and I feel like it's gonna benefit me in the future.